saying. So I'm coming into this room. She's giggling. <laughs> I love it. What you do. Hey, are you aware that you didn't look me in the eye once during lunch? I mean, every time I start talking to you, I feel like I'm talking to Jensen in our billing department. I'm sorry. I, I just had a bad night, Frank. What is this? The past again? The undertow? I guess so. You want to talk about it? Hey, hey, hey. Does this have anything to do with me? I mean, is this some kind of, you know, roundabout, underhanded way of telling me to get no, lost? No, Frank. No. This has nothing to do with you. Okay. In that case, have you given any more thought to my offer? Yes. And? I still need some time. Okay. But just so you know, I mean, you know, for your information, I saw a place out in the valley yesterday. Huge place. I mean, enormous, like an airplane hangar. We could have separate apartments. <laughs> you wouldn't ever have to see me. You could have a string of boyfriends. I could have dancing girls. When you need time, I need time too, all right? Frank, you've been such a great friend to me. I don't know how I would have gotten through this year without you. I just hope you don't mind my uncertainty. It's okay, I told you. It's okay for now. You got it bad. Come on, kid. I'm gonna take you home. Frank, can I trust you? Yes, of course. Look, Angela, you don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to. But putting me in this position of having to watch you suffer, that's not fair. That's not fair to me. I think if you're going to dredge up your tortured past, you ought to do it in private. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was out of line. My husband is alive. I think you better stay with me tonight. No, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, and what if he comes back? He won't. Man, I'll tell you, what is he, an adventure freak? It was bad enough when he was dead. Now he's this phantom roaming the streets. And how do I compete with a spy? Frank, please. Well, I don't like it. I think you ought to tell the authorities. Frank, you promised. Why did you tell me? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Maybe there's a way we could help him. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I'm good with custody cases. He even suggested you might be a spy. You're not a spy, are you, Frank? So that's what this is all about. You're using this as another excuse to avoid getting close to me. I'll tell you what I am. I'm a hungry lawyer who's been waiting for you to fall in love with me. I mean, in case you hadn't noticed. Now, granted, I can't scale walls. I don't climb in windows at 3 a.m. But I happen to think I'm a damn good catch. I don't believe I said that. <laughs> Frank, who could blame you? I'm sorry. Don't worry, sweetie. Your secret is safe with me. What are his chances if these guys are really after him? I don't know. What would you like to have happen? I... I guess that... Be left in peace. I found out some things. You don't panic. 
I didn't say anything. I simply went to Whitney and I threw out some hypotheticals. And? And it's not good. As long as he's in hiding, basically, he's still fair game. I mean, legally, he doesn't exist, for God's sake. You mean there's nothing anyone can do? Well, not if he doesn't want to come forward. Come forward? Yeah, come forward. Uh, seek protection, demand his rights. That's been done before. I mean, he could write a book. He could go on a talk show. Frank, please. Can he really do that? Why not? He's still a U.S. citizen. Oh, he'd never betray them. All right. That's his choice. Angela, just leave it alone. The guy is invisible. And as long as he's invisible, he's relatively safe. These people he should contact, who are they? I don't, I don't know that. I mean, you know, Whitney would know who down at Justice. Uh, we represent, uh, what's his face, Broderick with the Times. That part would be easy. Angela, I think it's time you answered a question. Are you still in love with him? Frank, that was over years ago. It doesn't mean that I don't feel for him. I'm sorry, Frank. This hasn't been very fair for you, has it? I don't care about fair. I care about you. Look, ever since this thing started, we don't talk about anything else. I want it over. I want it behind us once and for all. Frank, stay with me tonight. Can, and now that's it because that's we're not going to change our position on that uh as to the uh, hi hi is all this cloak and dagger stuff really necessary he said it was he thinks they're watching the house Is this paranoid? No. No. Not at first. Angela, you really are something else. I've known women from all over the world. None of them had your courage or your class. You've known women from all over the world? I didn't mean it literally. I'm, yeah, I've been around. What is this? A little hint of jealousy? You are jealous. Oh, I like this. This is nice. I like this. Last week. When do you go to trial? Um, second week in April. Hopefully. Even with Judge Simpson away? What? He's going in for a kidney operation. Senator McQuinn mentioned it. They're good friends. You know, I just totally forgot about that. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, apparently, Judge Messina is very lenient with custody cases. I just totally forgot. <laughs> Should 
Columbia up ahead. say what kind of a car he'd be driving. No. Angela, is it him? It's not him. Angela, for God's sake, speak! It's him! were to turn you over to them. But I told them I wanted to speak to you. I told them that I was certain you were capable of keeping this to yourself, if you knew the truth. Oh, my God! Now oh. listen, listen to me. I want you to understand. I want you to it understand. It wasn't Richard! What? I just said that to you. I started to doubt you. It was, it was something you said. That wasn't that. Don't move. Toss your gun out of the car. Richard! Richard! Don't turn your head. Angela, grab the keys and get out of the car. Nice and slow. Richard, I didn't know what to do. I told him it was that poor man. My God, I didn't know what to Angela, do. Angela, it's okay. Go back and wait in my car. Get out. Straight ahead. Right here. Kneel down. Put your arms and legs behind the tree. Who's running this operation? I don't know. No, 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 no. Now let's avoid the blood and guts, huh? As we both know you're gonna talk. Who's running this operation? They don't tell us, you know that. You son of a bitch! I'll cut your tongue out. Burke? Please. All they said was we had to get you immediately. Why? What's the panic? I don't know. They said you sold us out in Central America. That's it. Any idea who killed Tony Cooper? No. They, they said he helped you, that's all. Where were you going to drop Angela off? Oh, I tried to... Where's the drop-off point? Farmer's Market. 